Hello, Laura Pinter here with Service Star Realty, bringing you an uh, update on May's rent collection efforts. And I have to say we did pretty well. We expected the numbers to be a little bit higher than in April, people being at the end of their savings, those that lost their jobs. But the numbers were about the same. We had 64 people late, 28 normal late, and uh, the rest uh, claiming COVID. We put them uh, on payment plans and we are continuing our collection efforts. Michelle personally called every single person on their payment plan on the due date. So we made lots of phone calls last month and we made sure that we collected, and reminded the tenants uh, because they all have different end dates as far as uh, when the rent is due and dates on the payment plan. So, uh, also the government is pretty generous with unemployment benefits. And people can get an extra $600 a week now, bringing unemployment benefits up to $840 a week. This helps them afford paying rent. So the situation is not that brave. Uh, I also have fantastic news as far as the demand for rental properties. The market is very hot. And we had a record past two weeks. We rented 22 homes in two weeks. That is huge for us. And we are very happy to fill your vacancies for you. As far as uh, the sales market go, about four weeks ago, we experienced some fallouts, uh, contract uh, fallouts. And people uh, were reluctant to relist their homes. So the volume of new listings as well as new contracts dropped but the listing prices have not budged which is good news the first thing that normally happens is not the listing price but um, dropping but seller concessions beginning in richard uh, is confirming that our salesperson he, he tells us that uh, lenders and appraisers are being more strict more conservative and it did result in an increase in seller concessions when the appraised uh, value does not meet contract price, the first thing that sellers offer is, a, is concession. But like I said, the market is holding strong. The new listings that are coming on the market, they are not at a lower price. So we're doing good in that uh, regards as well. On our agenda next is to plan on uh, how we're gonna collect the rents in arrears, what kind of plans we're gonna offer our tenants and whom we are going to take to court to get. A judgment. We were very successful with one um, one lease this month. We decided to take the person to court, the tenant, and uh, we were able to get a judgment and collect two months of rent. However, uh, we were con uh, concerned that we wouldn't be able to do a lockout. But luckily, we didn't have to. And because we're concerned about lockouts not happening, that is why we are treading very carefully, trying not to spend your money on judgments that we cannot enforce. So more to come. Uh, we're working on solutions and I will keep you updated. I appreciate you watching. Have a great evening.